Welcome back, Pokemon Trainers. Professor Chaz here. The lab coat's on back order, and don't mind me as I heal right now, because I forgot to last time. Uh, welcome back to our Pokemon Shield playthrough here on the channel. As you can see, we currently have a team of two Pokemon, because we've been having some rough times here in the region. Unexpected knockouts here and there. But we're going to hopefully improve our, hope, maybe hopefully our defenses a little bit with this episode. We'll see. Anyway, leading the pack right now is our, essentially our main team lead, our bag of garbage, Hefty the Garbodor. So to get level 37, he's got the leftovers to heal up every turn. He has the weak armor ability, which I'm not a fan of, but we'll work with it. Uh, Dynamax level 4, of course, as you saw there, with Sludge Bomb, Toxic Spikes, Stockpile, and Thief. And the nature is naive, and our last current active member is... Mando, the Galarian Slowpoke, a lonely Pokemon. She has the Odd Incense to power up her Psychic-type attacks. She's taken three injuries thus far, which means she's taken up three of our four... Yeah, four heals along the way. <sighs> anyway, she has own tempo for the ability. She's got Zen Headbutt, Slack Off, she learned last episode. Headbutt and Yawn. So, before we go any further, I asked you to remind me, or not let me forget, talk to this move rememberer dude because I want to see well first of all let's check the Pokemon's memories let's see what Hefty knows oh you know what let's see what Mando knows what do I want to do with Mando let's select Mando and see what her memories are Mando was there when Chaz went to a boutique and tried on clothes but left the boutique without buying anything yeah Pokemon definitely remembers that it grinned all right let's hear about uh, Hefty's memories uh, what if Hefty remembers me trying to get a haircut <laughs> Hefty was there when Chaz went to a boutique and didn't buy anything. <laughs> the Pokemon remembers I felt proud. No, I think we're good. Oh, wait. Actually, I do want to check one more thing. Uh, remember a move, because let's see what our new Garbodor could have. Now that we have a higher up evolutionary stage. Pound, take down. So, Pound, I believe, is a new move that it didn't have before. Metal Claw. Hmm. That we good against Fairy types. Uh, poison Gas, Recycle, Acid Spray, Amnesia, Clear Smog, Sludge, Swallow, Body Slam, Toxic, and Bleh. So I think we're good for now. You know what else I gotta do though? Okay, we're, we're good. Thank you, sir. I gotta check the TMs. No, stop it! Check the TMs and see what else uh, Garbodor can pick up now. Good old Hefty. Let's go to Pokemon. Hefty, we'll use uh, Held Item. Open the bag. So, TM-wise, you can't get any of this. <laughs> you can get Protect, of course. Uh, Rock Blast, Payback. In retrospect, I realized if I had taught Payback instead of Thief during that gym battle, it would have been much more useful. But hindsight is, as they say, 50-50. Sleep Talk. Can't learn anything new. All right. Now, my objective for today. You gotta get Mando to be a little more... A uh, little bit... Reliable. <laughs> better part of the team. And to do so, we're going to hop on our bike accidentally, but I'm going to soar on back to way early here at the meetup spot of the wild area. I'm going to take a train somewhere. <coughs> Excuse me. Can I access it from here, I wonder? Get off your bike. Uh, how do I get in? Okay. Now, from here, I think we choose. Let me get to the... What station do I want to go to? No. Who do I speak to? I guess we're gonna go all the way back to Wedgehurst? This Wedgehurst my brain. Maybe it's him. Where would you like to go today? So we're gonna take a little bit of a trip, which I guess this would have been considered post-game uh, when the DLCs came out, but for me it's mid-game. We're gonna go to the armor station. Because we do have the DLCs, again, thanks to Unknown Spike for the donation. We gotta take a Toga piece somewhere? Whoa, that's a Corviknight. Okay. The Isle of Armor. My first time visiting this, I might have seen clips of it, but I have no idea what this is all about. Uh, essentially, I'm coming here for a specific reason. Well, two reasons, let's say. It's just weird that it looks like Corviknight just fly, like carries an actual taxi cab. Is this your first visit to the Isle of Armor? Yes, it is. I'm researching Pokemon biology here on this island. You want to register the Pokemon you catch on this island to your Pokedex, right? Okay, I'll update your Pokedex so you can do just that. All right. 
Pokedex is being updated. The Isle, Isle of Armor Pokedex has been added to my Pokedex. When you caught a lot of Pokemon on the Isle of Armor, come back and show me your Pokedex. Alright. So, let's see what this place has to offer. Who is this well-groomed man? Unlike myself, I need a shave. I'm supposed to join the dojo on this island today, but... There's a strange person standing outside the station, and I'm a bit scared to head out. Is it that psychic guy? Yeah, I see the, the Pokeballs floating. <coughs> what was your, your name again? Or your voice? Huh? You're the traveler I'm supposed to guide, am I right? <laughs> uh, no, I think there's the other guy. Exactly when we agreed to meet, too. Quite the commendable punctuality. Hmm. I've got the strangest feeling we've met before. But I can't recall. And here I thought amnesia was Slowpoke's move. Funny you mention the name Slowpoke. My name is Avery. I'm a senior member of the dojo you are to join. Whoa. I think you've got the wrong person. I'm only here to try to do other stuff. You're here to join the Master Dojo, are you not? I also train there. No? My goodness, this is the thick one. Like a poor lost Wooloo. Are you mad at me? It's not, look, it's the guy with the, the finger behind me. It's up to me, as an elegant adult, to make sure they get the message. Perhaps a show of strength is the best way to get to know each other. Hmm, is it? I'll await you outside. Once you're ready, come out to face me. Time to show him who the better trainer is. Before we get involved in any of that, I'm gonna check out the, uh... I'm gonna go back to Wedgehurst for a second. And I'm gonna go to the Crown Tundra. <laughs> uh, who knows what's gonna happen here. So we're stepping out here onto the Isle of Armor for the first time in history. I've never seen any of this. I've seen Slowpoke before. But other than that, this is all brand new to my eyes. I have no clue. Anyway. Hmm, is this your first visit to the Isle of Armor? You would no doubt like to run around and explore freely, but first, let's make sure you can handle yourself. Naturally, as a member of the Master Dojo, I'll be using my psychic powers to test your strength. Come now, don't overexert yourself. Alright. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Avery. We sent out Abra. Okay, what level are we looking at for this Abra? I have no idea what we're looking at. Heh, I'll show you what true power looks like. Will you now? It's only level 10, okay. Oh, we haven't healed? Wait a minute. What timeline is this? Anywho. Abra, piece of cake, one thief attack, down it goes. Now watch him be like a level 84 you 2 Yeah, what else you got there, Avery? Nice shooting text. Okay, we're back in the green at least, thanks to our leftovers. When did I get beat down to my last Pokemon? Did you use hypnosis on me? I don't have hypnosis. Oh, we got us a Slowpoke. That is also a Psychic type. We also got a Thief for you. Will we level up off of this? Because Hefty is pretty close, but look at it, it's just a Slowpoke. It's only level 12. What kind of experience would we be seeing? Not much. Didn't expect to level up. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Such strength. I'm in Psy Shock. Fourteen forty. That's how much money I got. Okay, what is this place? Ah, uh, um, could you give me a moment? Improbable. No, impossible. What kind of trick did this kid use? Stop naming off Pokemon attacks. I mean, I guess at this point, there's so many attacks, it's hard to not say a sentence without a Pokemon attack in there. If a trainer of this talent arrives at the dojo, then the people there will very well may suffer amnesia about my very existence. If only I could get rid of him. But I've been tasked with escorting him to the dojo. Huh. Muddle, muddle, murmur, murmur. Ah! <coughs> you have potential. Why, you made me use a whole 3% of Shaggy's strength. Still, how shall I put this? Our dojo is a respected place where even the famous champion Leon trained. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think you're quite up to snuff. Therefore, I suggest you ignore the Master Dojo standing over there and head home as soon as you're done seeing the sights. I suppose you can have this as a two as a parting gift. A style card? What is this? A card that increases the selection in boutiques. Ooh, and hair salons. 
I can get real hair now. Show up when you visit a boutique or hair salon, and I'm sure you'll be able to find some more elegant garb like mine. Now then, I'm glad I came here. Farewell. I doubt I'll see you again. Avery, teleport. I'm looking for him. All right. For now, we're in a whole new wild area. A whole new area to see. Hello, Slowpoke. Okay, what's this? Another tinny mushroom. Uh, I'm really only looking for one particular place. And I'm assuming... Oh, it's a random star me. <coughs> I'm assuming... It's the dojo. Now, I hope I don't get my butt kicked. Because something tells me the potential to get my butt kicked... Ooh, Fletchinder. Could be pretty high in some of these kind of like post-game chancy areas. What the? It's a lowly undiglet. Duh. Uh, duh, duh. Let me buy. Okay, D? Oh, Diglett, you're here. Sorry, he's a, he's a more gruff voice. <laughs> you little rascal. I was worried about you. <laughs> Thank you for finding my Diglett. <laughs> it was right in the middle of my path. Is it from Alola? Oh, I didn't expect to meet someone who knows about it. That's right. This is a Diglett from the Alola region. When I traveled in Alola, I fell in love with these adorable three hairs. I caught a lot of Diglett there and came back. But they went somewhere when I looked away for a second. <laughs> Anyway, you found a Diglett buried in the ground. You definitely have a talent for finding Diglett. If it's okay, will you find all the other Diglett too? Sure, not yet, but I will, someday. Ah, oh, what a kind person you are. Words can't express how grateful I am. You could say, I'm grateful, and those are words that may do so. You found... <laughs> Korok seeds all over again. You found one Diglett, so please find 150 more Diglett. If you find them, please come, please come back to tell me. Or please tell them to come back to me. They really put a Korok seed hunt in this? Alright. But again, I'm not going to tackle that just yet. I'm only here for one, maybe two reasons. I'm going to save before I pop in here. Because again, I don't know what kind of butt kickery I'm in for. Okay, what is... Oh, I, I found Avery! Look! You didn't go far at all. What is that Ursa ring eating a, a jewel? Oh, fiddlesticks. So our new student decided to go back home. He's a liar. It would appear so. I'll have you know, my offer to escort them was perfect. He rather abruptly absconded after our battle. And I've been hoping we get to welcome a new member to our little family here, too. Oh, and who are you, love? Hmm? Duh! <laughs> Of course, you must be the new student that's supposed to join the dojo today. I have no clue what any of this is. You still got the wrong person. <coughs> yes, right. That's correct, ma'am. I swear, I thought you would use teleport or something. You disappeared so quickly. Regardless, it gives me great joy to know that you decided to come after all. I should be talking through gritted teeth because I feel like that's what he's doing. Oh, everything's just coming up with roses. Now, I'm quite sure they already told me your name, but... It's... Chaz, uh, I say, uh, Chaz, because I'm still unsure about this place. That's right, you're Chaz. Of course you are, love. Though I'm rather sure that's not the name I was told before. Anywho, my name's Honey. I help keep this place running. You can consider me the lady of the house. Not that the master dojo is just any old house. <laughs> but why? For what purpose is he here? My future sight must be off. I must think, before Miss Honey figures out I told an innocent little lie, I should probably stop speaking out loud. Seems you've already met our Avery. Bit of an odd ducklet, but he's one of our own. He's training hard here at the dojo so he can become a gym leader someday. I trust the two of you can get along, right? I beat him up, so sure. <laughs> it's an honor to make your acquaintance. Oh dear, but look at me. Here I am making you stand around outside after you've come all this way. Come in, come in. Don't mind the faint stench of sweat. I've never been invited into a house that way. Now, listen. If you dare breathe a word of what happened at the station to Miss Honey... Well, let's just say my psychic powers are very potent. Do I make myself clear? A lot more clear than your glasses are. <coughs> Look, he's getting steamed. 
Steamed fishless. It's Kumfu. Hi, Kumfu. You doing, Cubby? He's like a gummy bear. I should name him Cubby. As if I'm gonna get one. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's pop in. We got a few more minutes left, from what I remember. And then what happened? It's a lot of people I don't want to fight. <sighs> this looks like different. Uh. What's the term? I guess calligraphy? Different lettering than back in uh, Galler. Everybody, I have an announcement to make. We've got a new student joining us today. Please welcome Chaz. I'm sure you'll all have lots to teach him. Hiya! Welcome to the dojo! Oh, there's a polyrath. All our students are so good and hardworking. Everyone really gives it their all around here. Now, here's someone who's not listed in my database of... Wait. Oh, it's you talking, this kid. Now, here's someone who's not listed in my database of students. Hello, sweetie pie. It's not usual for you to bother greeting a newcomer. This is Hyde, my darling only son. Aren't you some kind of outlier? Here, you should give this a try. Chad's got a cub food. Experience charm? What the heck is that do? A charm that increases the experience that Pokemon can get. A machine-like object is inside the charm. How charming indeed. But don't open it, okay? It's got a... I, it's... It's got tech. Oops, I can't read. I developed inside, and I don't want you to go and ruin it. He's so good with his hands, always making something new. Such a clever boy. And that handsome gent in the back is my darling hubby and the very master... Oh, she's married. I mean, that's fine. And the very master of the dojo. Why, hello there. My name is Mustard. I'm rather good at Pokemon battles, you know. <laughs> I'm pleased as cheese that you could join us. Well, nice to meet you. I'm not quite that punny to say cheese to meet you when I first meet somebody. Once I warm up to them, yeah, I'll throw puns out like a... Like a pundit. Anyway. <laughs> Such a polite student. You must be the... You seem to be the hardworking type, too. Don't let him fool you into thinking he's just a silly old man. He's a real beast when he gets serious. Well, darling, I'll leave the rest up to you. Do not kill me, please. Yay! This is my favorite part! I want to see just how good you are! So why not have a battle with little old me? Just say the word when you're ready! I'll come back post-game. I'll tell you that much. Uh, what's over here? What can we do in here? Hey! Hey! Doggy dishes! What is this place all about? Can I make some some Gigantamax? What's this? There's a note stuck to the fridge. These ingredients are for everyone's meals. No nicking food outside of mealtime. Honey. Okay, so... What's over here? You must be tired after that trek from the station. If you and your Pokemon ever need to rest up, feel free to use that room right there. What is this? <coughs> what is this crammer rant thing? <laughs> Perfect. Now it's sure to work. All that's left is to fire it up with the on button. And so, here we go. Let's push it. Cripes, it powered down. Must still need more watts. <laughs> what are we going to do now? <laughs> Timpole. Toy balls are Pokemon to play with. Can I get that heavy ball? I'll, I'll give it back. So, does my experience charm seem to be working as intended? What is this thing? Some sort of machine made out of junk parts that look like a Pokemon? You like it? Yeah, I like Cramorant's cool. <laughs> I thought you might be the type. That's my Cramomatic, and just to be clear, it's the invention of the century. It's my very own brilliant take on recycling. Though it doesn't do a thing right now since it's out of power. If I just had enough watts. But Mummy won't give me any more of hers. Okay, for now, before we go any further into this crazy place, I'm going to save it. So I have to battle Mr. Mustard. That's not happening anytime soon. I'm going to save our progress, though. So this is going to be it for this episode, folks. I want to say thank you for watching this crazy zany adventure that we're on. I have no idea what to expect next. You might. I don't. So if you want to see me experience what happens next, come back for the next episode by subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell button for notifications. If you liked our first foray into the Isle of Armor, 
hit that like button to show I've got your support and you've enjoyed it. And if you want to see more content from this series, if you want to get caught up basically on what's already happened, the description has a link to the full playlist which you can check out. And if you want to join as a member of the channel, hit that join button down below and take a look at what perks are available at the two different tiers. Remember that lab aides do gain access to these live streams as they occur, usually three times a week. All right, with all that, Professor Chaz is now out of here to try to make sense of this crazy place. Until then, have yourselves a good day, and I'll catch you next time.